Hey guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be on my travel essentials. So I'm going to be taking you guys inside my travel makeup bag and also my travel toiletry bags because I have been traveling quite a bit this year. I've already been to Arizona, Hawaii. Uh, I just got back from the Dominican Republic and now I'm going to New York this week. So I've been traveling quite a bit and I figured why not show you guys what is in my travel makeup bag. There's going to be a lot of products in this video. So I'm going to stop blibber blabbering, blibber blabbering, jibber jabbering, blabbing, something like that. I'm going to stop doing whatever I am doing and start talking about what I actually bring. So I have done a what's in my travel makeup bag video before. A few years ago, I'm still using the same travel makeup bag. This is a vintage Louis Vuitton. I got it, I think on like Z or eBay or something like that, but I will try to find a link and show it to you guys. But it is a good size. It's very good quality and I can fit a lot in here. Like this is pretty heavy but I really do love it so I'm gonna take you guys inside my bag and we're just gonna dive in so first and foremost I always just jam some makeup wipes in there these are my favorite favorite ones they are the simple brand micellar wipes I love how wet they are and they don't leave any sort of residue or stickiness on my skin they are my absolute favorite so I always keep those in there and then I will show you guys what's in here so it's actually fairly organized for me anyway, like this is organized for me. Like, I don't know about you guys, you're probably like, oh my God, what is that? But for me, this is pretty organized. And I actually have not unpacked this bag since I got back from my vacation, uh, just because I have so much other makeup that I don't really need to go back into this. And like I said, I'm going on another trip soon, so I didn't even bother unpacking. So anyways, this is everything that I brought on my most recent trip to the Dominican Republic. So kind of like a tropical, setting if you will so first and foremost i will start with my foundations that i brought so i bring a few usually um just depending on what i'm going for honestly on this trip in particular i didn't wear foundation that much just because i just wanted to keep it like really natural i was just with family and i just felt like i didn't need to do full glam so that's kind of what I did on this trip, but there are like some more full glam options. But the foundation that I brought with me, and I bring this on every trip I go, it's just my favorite. This is the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I'm in the shade Warm Olive. I've talked about this so many times, but I just love how it looks on my skin. It looks like skin. It lasts on me all day. It never looks cakey. And I just absolutely love this. So I always have this in my travel makeup bag. Um, then another like full coverage, more glam option is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. This one's very long wearing. It is thicker in consistency, but it never looks cakey on me. And it just covers like beautifully it makes your skin look airbrushed so this is one of my favorites this is in the shade aruba which is like my tan shade and then my normal shade is barcelona but i absolutely love this and it's a really good color match for me when i'm tan then i also brought this one i don't know why i bring so many it just depends on what i'm going for um but i also brought this one this is the it cosmetic cc cream this is the matte version and i actually brought this in rich i have the tan version which i like for when I'm my natural skin color, but when I have any sort of tan that doesn't work for me, it just pulls so ashy. So I have to go up to deep. I wish they had more shades of this, um, but deep is the shade that I will use if I'm on vacation, which I love this. It has um, SPF in there. It has anti-aging serum in there. It's very, um, good coverage for like a CC cream and I just really like it. So I brought that and I brought one other thing. So on my most recent trip, I used this a lot and I used this like on the perimeter of my face and anywhere that I wanted it darker. So this is the NARS stick foundation in the shade Macau or Maco, but um, it comes with a sponge applicator on the other side, but it fell off and I don't know where it is, but it's just a stick foundation and obviously it's a deep shade. So what I was doing is I would just put this like all around my forehead. I would do it like my cheekbones just all the way around and then I would go in with concealer and the other parts and it would just look so good. It looks so natural. So even though I brought all those other foundations, I ended up just using this foundation stick um, on the outside and then concealer and it just looked amazing. So um, I wanted to mention that even though I didn't use it like as a traditional foundation, 
I really like the look that it gave me. Next, I wanna mention a primer that I brought and I bring this a lot. This is the Farsali Skin Tune Blur Primer. I've talked about this a lot. I just love how it makes my skin look. It makes it look poreless, airbrushed, and it makes my makeup last all day. And so it doesn't like settle into my fine lines that I have like kind of like, um, you know, when you get those like mouth creases or anything like that, this um, does help with that. So I brought this as well. Then I have two concealers that I brought. So the first one is the Too Faced Born This Way Sculpting Concealer. I use this in pretty much all of my tutorials. I just absolutely love this. The finish, the coverage, everything about it I love. So this is in the shade Golden Beige. And then I also brought this one, which is a newer one that I picked up from the brand Ilia, which I love their setting powder. So I wanted to order something else from them. So they just came out with this True Skin Serum Concealer and I do really like it. It is um, a little bit dark for me for when I'm not tan, so I need to get this in a lighter shade, but I do really, really like this. It looks like skin and it has, you know, um, skincare benefits in it. So I've really been loving this and I do need to get it in a lighter shade. And I would say this is like medium coverage, but you can build it up. So I've really been liking this. Then another product that I recently picked up and I talked about this on my Instagram and I love this for no makeup makeup days. So um, for the beach, I was just putting on brow gel, mascara, and this. So this is an under eye corrector from Tarte. It looks like this and um, it's just this peachy shade and you guys, this is so good. You can wear this on its own or underneath concealer if you are medium to light definitely go for the medium to light shade because this will look really like peach on your skin but for me it works like magic like it just instantly makes your like really dark areas like I get really dark here and really dark in like this bag area and this completely like color corrects it and it looks like skin so you can wear this by itself and it just looks like it doesn't look like you have concealer on it's literally so good and I got this based on Alana Alana Davis I think her last name is based on her recommendation because she uses it all the time and raves about it and I just love her like natural makeup vibe so I had to pick it up and I'm obsessed then for setting powder I have been bringing my Ilia soft focus finishing powder I absolutely love this it looks so beautiful on the skin and it's a clean beauty product so it doesn't have a lot of the harsh toxic chemicals in there. It's talc free and it makes your makeup look literally just like airbrushed with a soft focus effect. It's so good and it comes in like this container which it's pretty small. That's the only thing I don't like about it. It's pretty pricey for the amount that you get but I do still really love it. Then another product that I brought with me just to try and I never used this before my trip and this is so freaking good. I haven't heard anybody really talk about this, but this is one of the Flower Beauty Blush Bombs. So it comes in like this little squeezy container. So you just squirt it on your hand and I didn't really know what to expect. So I put this on my cheeks and blended it out and I just put it like right where like my contour blush area is and it looked gorgeous. Like it looked like sun-kissed and just dewy and radiant and so pretty. I need to do a video with it because it looks so freaking good. And like I said, I was just doing concealer, that dark cream contour, and this, and it looked, ugh, it just looked dewy and so natural, and I just, I'm obsessed. Then next for my blush and bronzer, I brought this palette. This is from Becca. This is the Chloe and Malika Becca BFF palette and I love this. I love the Chloe one in the gold also, but this is just so perfect for vacation. This bronzer color is perfect. These two blush tones, literally everything I want in a vacation blush. Um, this highlighter is really pretty too. It's very subtle and they all just have the most beautiful finish to them. Like the bronzer is matte, but it just has like a soft focus effect and same with the blushes and the highlighter, like the formula of these is just so freaking good. So I brought that. I also brought this bronze goddess bronzer from Estee Lauder. I recently picked this up and I brought this just to like contour my nose and stuff because it's a, a little bit lighter than this bronzer in here and I've really been loving it. It's not too ready and it's not too cool. It just looks 
really nice on my skin tone. So I brought that and I just love the packaging of this. It just reminds me of vacation and this is the vibe that I want for my vacation. I want to be a bronze goddess. So, you know, put out into the universe what you would like to receive. And I would like the universe to make me a bronze goddess. Next, I always bring this with me. I just am obsessed with this powder. This is from Laura Mercier. It's their Candle Glow Powder. So it just looks like this. It doesn't offer a lot of color payoff, but it just, you put it all over your face with a big fluffy brush. I just kind of do it as like the last step before I apply a highlight and I just buff it all over and it just blends everything seamlessly and just makes you look like you have a candle glowing on you. Like you just look so beautiful and like angelic. So I always bring this in my bag. It's also good like if you put something too harsh, you can just blend this and buff over it and it just makes everything look so good. So I always bring that. Then for my highlighter, I brought my Fenty Beauty Mean Money Hustle A Baby Kilowatt and I love this. I brought this one because I love this shade, but I also love this as a underneath the brow bone highlight and it just is so good. So um, I like to bring this and that's a handy little trick. Like if you brought a palette that doesn't have a nice under the brow bone highlight, you can just bring this little duo and it's got your back. So love that. Then for eyeshadow palettes, I always keep this one in my travel bag. I just think it's the perfect palette. It has every color that I would ever need. So I always keep this in here. And I believe this was in my travel makeup bag video last time, but it's just one of my favorite palettes ever. So looks like this. I also brought my new Natasha Denona mini nude palette. This is so good. I really honestly didn't even need to bring this because this has pretty much every color I need. And then for the under the brow bone, I used this little guy. And I just did a video using this, so if you guys haven't seen it, I will link it. But the colors in this are absolutely gorgeous and I love how teeny tiny it is. Oh, I also brought this little guy. This is a super radiant booster from NARS. So this is like a liquid illuminator and you can apply it underneath your foundation or you can use this as like a cream highlight. Um, I've tried both and I really like it for both purposes. So if you want that extra glow, mix this with your foundation and you will literally be glistening. So it just blends out to like this nice little golden glow. Nothing too extreme, but really, really pretty. For brows, I brought my CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in soft brown. I love this pencil. I don't go anywhere without it, so I brought that. And then for brow brow, I actually brought this Alme Brow Styler, and I've really been loving this. The brush on it is like this teeny tiny little baby brush, and I really like it because um, it makes the brow hairs like super defined and you can just like really get that really defined brow look like you can see the brow hairs like it doesn't like clump them together and I think it's because the brush is so fine so I've been loving that and like I said for the beach I would just do my brows mascara and sometimes the under eye corrector if I wanted for mascara I brought my covergirl exhibitionist mascara in waterproof and I also brought it in a non waterproof version I just really really love this stuff and the waterproof version is definitely actually waterproof I wore it in the pool and it did not run all over me then I brought two eyeliners. This is the Benefit Roller Liner. I recently used the brown version in a video. First impressions, love this. It goes on so easy. It makes winged liner like literally easy, which is weird. Then I have the Bourbon Decay, the Bourbon Decay. The color is bourbon. It's from Urban Decay. <laughs> this is just like a dark brown with like a little bit of like a bronzy shimmer in there. And this I like to use on my waterline because I don't really like black on my waterline. It's a little bit too dark. Or I'll use this to do a smoky wing. So um, this is from Urban Decay. That's a 24 seven liner in bourbon. Then of course I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I won't go anywhere without this. This is in the cherry bottle just because I have the mini size of this but inside is just the regular formula but I just love this. It's the best setting spray 
ever. And I have some duo lash glue in here. I didn't wear any lashes this trip, but I do have it in my bag. Then for lips, I have a few products. This is the Koki Cosmetics Nude Lip Liner. I love this and I love that it's retractable so you don't have to worry about bringing a sharpener. And the color of this is really similar to Charlotte Tilbury's Iconic Nude, but way cheaper, obviously. Then I have my Tarte Beach Babe lipstick because I was going to the beach. I obviously had to bring this, but this is one of my favorite favorite colors ever. It's like a light brown nude. It's just like my perfect light nude. So I had to bring that. Um, I also, did I bring any other things for lips? Oh, and then I also brought this lip gloss. This is from Buxom. This is their Dolly Daiquiri Plumping Lip Cream. So I didn't really wear this because it was so windy that you can't really wear a lip gloss, but I did bring that. Is there anything else in here that I did not mention? I think we did it all. So yeah, that is all for my travel makeup bag. And then I'm gonna take you guys inside my travel toiletry bag. So this little bag is from the Styled Collection and I like that it's clear. You can see what's in here. You can see, did I bring this? Did I bring that? So it's nice for that. And I just like the square little case. Like it just fits in my suitcase nicely. Don't ask me about TSA uh, regulations because I always check a bag because I'm an overpacker and I'm not organized or anything like that. So, uh, but yeah, I'll show you guys what's in here. So versus hair care, I bought this little mini set at Ulta. It had the Pureology Hydrate Shampoo and Conditioner. It also came with a dry shampoo, which I don't know what happened to it. Um, but then it also came with this leave-in multitasking uh, spray. So this like detangles, protects color, heat protectant, all that good stuff, which um, I didn't like not like these, but I don't love them. Like I don't think I'll buy the full size, but it's nice to have um, a little kit to bring with you. So I'll just keep this in here. A lot of the times when I travel, I don't even wash my hair, but um, in this case, since I was going for almost a week, I did bring shampoo and conditioner. Then, oh, I have these, which I got these in Hawaii from the Four Seasons and I'm obsessed with these and I don't know where I can buy full size, but I'm obsessed. So it has this Plumeria and Awapui moisturizer. It smells like Hawaii and vacation. It smells so good. Um, and then they also had this sun cooling lotion, which obviously is good to have if you're going to the beach. So I've just been keeping them in there. Then I have a little Tresemme hairspray. I have this Garnier soothing facial mist. I also keep one of these in my carry-on bag just to spray. It just makes you feel so refreshed because you know when you're sitting on a plane, you just feel like icky and gross. Like this just makes you feel less icky and gross. And also also, sometimes I will use this before I apply my makeup, like kind of as like a priming spray or to wet my beauty blender, and it smells really yummy. So this is the soothing one. It has rose water. Then I have my sunscreen, and I've talked about this in my skincare videos before, but this is my favorite sunscreen. It's from Julep. It's their No Excuses Sunscreen Gel SPF 40. It goes on invisible. It's lightweight. It is moisturizing also. Like, you don't have to put a moisturizer on underneath this if you don't want to, but I just love it. It's like my favorite sunscreen, so I always bring that. I've gone through probably like four of these. Then I have my Lumify eye drops. I can not live without these. I'm literally addicted to them. I don't know if I have a serious problem, but I'm addicted to these eye drops and I've gone through so many of these. I just am obsessed with these eye drops. <laughs> Cannot leave without them. I have my toothpaste, Crest 3D White, because you can't have brown teeth on vacation. <laughs> Ew, I'm not sure why I said brown teeth. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <gasps> Your teeth will not be brown. <laughs> I've been talking for way too long. I don't know how long this video is, but I'm just starting to make myself delirious. But I bring this toothpaste. It's very good. Then for skincare, I have these little minis from Drunk Elephant. I also ran out of the other thing that came with. It was a mini marula oil, which I also really love. Um, but you can get these as like mini trial sizes to try or to travel with. But I love their B Hydra. This is like a hyaluronic acid serum. It makes your skin like very plump. And then this is the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I use the full size of this every day. So I love that they make a mini. It just makes your skin like 
also plump. It just makes it so plump, fresh, dewy, moisturized, hydrated, all of that. So I really love that. And then I also have this serum from Origins. This is their Nitamins Skin Refining Oil. So I like to apply this at nighttime before I go to bed after I take off my makeup. It has um, a lot of vitamins in there and also has um, I never know how to say it, salicylic acid or whatever, which like kind of clears out your pores. So um, I always bring this with me and it comes in a nice little dropper. It's like an oil, but you can apply a moisturizer over top if you want, like it's not too oily. And then I have an eye cream. This is just the Maracuja Oil C Brightener Eye Cream from Tarte. I don't like love it, but I just keep it in here just to use. It's not that I don't love it, but I don't think it's that amazing. I just like to keep it in my travel bag. Then I have this little guy. This is the Sun Bum Pomegranate SPF 30 Chapstick. Need this for the beach, my lips burn. I don't know what it is, like nothing else on me will burn, but my lips will burn, so I have to put sunscreen on them like every three seconds. And this one smells so good. It smells like Starburst. Oh, and it's broken. It's okay. But it smells like Starburst and it tastes yummy and I just really like it. So I have that and then I have my razor. And yeah, that is actually it for my toiletries. I thought there was more in there. Oh, I also have these other things in there. Um, these I've talked about before. I have them in like all of my purses. But I use these as nipple covers. And you can reuse them like a hundred million times. You can even like shower with them on. So this is actually like surgical silicone tape for like scars and stuff. And it just comes like on a roll and you just cut it to whatever shape or size you need. And they just stick to your skin and I use them as like nipple covers. And you can't like see them under clothes and you can use them a million times. And they don't hurt when you rip them off. Like the ones you buy in the store, sometimes I will buy those if like I forget, but those hurt when you take them off. They like wax your skin and like wax your boobs and it just hurts and they're hard to get off. But this you can just peel and stick and they don't hurt and you can just keep reusing them so um, those are also in there if you saw those that is going to complete what's in my travel makeup bag and my travel toiletries bag I just realized that I didn't show you what's in my travel brush bag but I literally bring like every single brush that I own because I'm a psycho like that so I'll have to do an updated brush video if you guys want to see that let me know but I feel like this video is gonna be super long so I gotta stop we gotta stop it right here. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any certain products that you cannot not bring with you. Like what is your must have product that you have to travel with in terms of you know makeup or skincare? Let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> I hate my hair straight. Why did I do this to myself? Oh, I know because you guys told me you thought it looked good. You lied to me. It's so straight. Like a limp little noodle. It's either like this, or it's separating. That is a sliver of something that I don't want in my life.